Hi, mathematics lovers! This is Teacher Josie, always ready to help you polish your mathematical skills through interesting and challenging activities. Today, I will introduce three important persons in our lesson. They are SIF, PSF, and TPF. SIF or slope intercept form. PSF or point slope form. And TPF or two point form. We will play maze runners. Hmm. Sounds like a movie. But there's a twist. Treasure buses of equations are waiting at the end of the maze. Help the three students open the correct treasure box by listening attentively how to find the equation of a line given a slope and its intercept, a slope and a point, and two points. Find Albert's way to the treasure box of equation given a slope is negative 3 and y intercept is 7. Is it y equals 3x minus 7? Or y equals negative 3x plus 7? What about Barbie's way to the treasure box of equation? Given a slope is 5, passes through for 7. Is it y equals 5x minus 13? Or y equals negative 5x plus 13? Also, help Candy find her way to the treasure box of equation. Given the two points, 4, 3, and 1, 5. Is it 2x plus 3y equals 17? Or 2x minus 3y equals 17? Sorry to suspend your excitement in having the treasures. We will go back to the maze after a treasure field discussion given the slope and y-intercept of a line use y equals mx plus b to write the equation of a line remember in y equals mx plus b m is the slope and b is the y-intercept let's have the examples write an equation of a line with a slope negative 3 and y-intercept 7. Express the equation in a slope-intercept form. Substitute negative 3 in place of m and 7 in place of b into the slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Again, our m is negative 3, and our b is 7. So, what will be the equation of the line? Correct. It is y equals negative 3x plus 7. As promised, the race to get the treasure continues. Which do you think is the box that contains bars of gold in each situation? For Albert, we have... Next example, find the equation in a standard form of the line passing through 0, negative 5, and whose slope is 2 third. Substitute the given values, b equals negative 5, and m equals 2 third into the slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So we have y equals, our m is 2 third, x our b is negative 5. Positive times negative 5 is negative 5. Then, transform this equation into a standard form. To clear the fraction in our equation, multiply both sides of the equation by 3. So, y times 3 is 3y. Three 2 thirds x times 3 is 2x. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. 
and applying the addition property of equality, we will add negative 2x on both sides of the equation. So we have negative 2x plus 3y equals 2x minus 15 plus negative 2x. So on this side, we only have negative 15. And to make our x term positive, multiply all the terms by negative 1. So what will be the equation of the line? Correct. It is 2x minus 3y equals 15. Again, if the given r is slope and y-intercept of a line, you will use y equals mx plus b. So write the equation of a line. How about if the given r is slope and a point of a line? Given the slope m and a point x sub 1, y sub 1 of a line, use y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1 to write the equation of a line. Remember, the equation y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1 is the point slope form of a line. Find the equation of the line that passes through for 7 and with a slope 5. Then, write the equation in a slope intercept form. First step, we write the point slope form of the line. We have y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. We substitute 7 for y sub 1, 4 for x sub 1, and 5 for m. So we have y minus 7 equals 5 times the quantity x minus 4. Next step, solve for y and write the equation in slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. We copy this. Then applying the distributive property, we have y minus 7 equals 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. And adding 7 on both sides of the equation, we have y equals 5x minus 13. So this is the equation of the line that passes through 4, 7 and with a slope 5. For bar B, we have... Remember this equation y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. You will use this to find the equation of a line if the given r is slope and a point. How about if the given are two points? Given two points, x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 of a line, Use y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1 to write the equation of a line. The equation y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1 is the two-point form of a line. Find the equation of the line that passes through the points for 3 and 1, 5. Then, write the equation in a standard form. We substitute the coordinates of the points for 3 and 1, 5, 4, x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, respectively, into the two-point form. We write the two-point form. We now substitute copy y minus our y sub 1, our y sub 1 is 3, equals y sub 2 is 5 minus our y sub 1 is 3, all over x sub 2 is 1 minus our x sub 1 is 4 times the quantity x minus, again, our x sub 1 is 4. Simplify. 
ka p y minus three equals five minus three is two all over one minus four is negative three copy x minus four to clear the fraction in our equation multiply both sides by negative three and apply the distributive property so y times negative three is negative three y negative three times negative three is positive nine 2 over negative 3 times x times negative 3 is 2x. 2 over negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 8 over 3 times negative 3 is negative 8. And we collect terms with variables on one side of the equation. We have negative 2x minus 3y equals negative 17. And to make our x term positive, we multiply all, all the terms by negative 1. So, what will be the equation of the line? Correct. It is 2x plus 3y equals 17. Again, this is the equation of the line that passes through the points 4, 3, and 1, 5. And for candy, we have Keep in mind that given two points, x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 of a line, use y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1 to write the equation of a line. Let us confirm if you really understood the lesson. I want you to do the fishy mathematics. Let's check. To test the extent of your understanding of today's lesson, let's have the A, B, C, or D activity. And the answers for your assignment I want you to compose a jingle about our lesson we reach my saddest part again saying goodbye it's me however it cheers me to think that you learned and enjoyed so See you in my next video. Keep in touch with your three newly found friends, SIF, PSF, and TPF.